Collier Area Transit continues to make great strides in becoming an industry leader in public transportation. CAT hosted the 40th Annual Florida Public Transit Association Conference on Sunday, October 26th through Tuesday, October 28th at the Naples Grand Beach Resort. The three-day conference brought Florida's transit industry professionals together to learn, share, and explore new public transit trends. CAT also won the award for Outstanding Transit System for the State of Florida. We spoke with Michelle Arnold, the director of the newly named Public Transit and Neighborhood Enhancements Department, about a few of their exciting accomplishments. The conference will have a number of sessions that are put on um, providing information to the transit agencies, addressing issues that we um, from time to time are involved in. Um, it could be ranging from Americans with Disabilities Act and making things accessible within our community. It'll, it also ranges into the technology side of it, looking at ways that we can better provide service to our customers as well as just getting information for the system and making sure it runs it more efficiently. We are um, doing quite well. We've, our ridership is stable. Um, we're still over a million in ridership, and but we are, you know, our revenues are boosted, and I think a lot of that is attributed to the electronic fare boxes and the technology that we installed on our um, system about a year ago. So it's producing uh, good returns for um, you know the investment that we've made. Um, we have, obviously, you all know that we opened up our transfer station. It's been a year in running. It's, it's running smoothly. Um, we're in the process, just broke ground at doing some construction over at our radio road location. And what we're trying to do there is make it ADA accessible, make it more of a, a transfer station and our operations. Um, because as you know, that used to be um, an old car dealership and, and now we're, we've finally accrued all of the funding that we needed to make the improvements at that particular facility, so we're excited about what's going on there. Um, we are um, getting ready to do some modifications on our, our routes that are going to be effective January of 2015, as well as implement a new route um, and it's going to be providing service along uh, Collier Boulevard, which we currently don't have service, and along Immokalee Road between 951 Collier Boulevard and Airport Road, so we're excited about that. We're going to be providing service to a lot of those retail establishments along there. There's Walmart, there's Target, um, uh, the Social Security Office is over there, Hodges University is over there, so there's a lot of uh, services that we're going to be providing um, uh, transportation to. Uh, alternative transportation modes is who we used to be called and a lot of times folks were a little bit confused about what that was and we only really are responsible for one of the modes which is transit. Um, we changed our name so it better serves the public so they better understand what services we do provide. We're not changing the services that we provide we just wanted to have a name that reflects the services and now we are public transit and neighborhood enhancement so the public transit side is cat and all of the wonderful things we're doing to provide access to our workers and you know visitors in the community and the um, neighborhood enhancement side is our municipal service taxing units which it's where communities tax themselves to do various projects for more information on CAT, call 252-7777 or go to callyourgov.net.